Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to look at several techniques for vertically centering text within a block. Okay, so I have a blank page set up, and I want to experiment with some vertical centering of text. It's not that tough really, but let's look at a few methods that you might uh, read about online or see in books and stuff like that. In order to test this, of course, I'm going to need some H1s. I'm going to do several of them. I'll give each of them a class. And then I'll just copy and paste and paste. We'll have method two and method three when we need it. Okay, go ahead and save that. Now in the styles, I already have a reset rule set, a generic simple reset rule, and I've got the body of my page set to a min height of 100 viewport heights. That's not too essential right now. But let's go ahead and put in some common characteristics for all of these H1s. Remember, H1s, headline ones, are block elements. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a border. So that way we can see them. That'll help us confirm that the centering is taking place. Go ahead and give them some margins. Uh, two M's top and bottom, one M left and right. And I'm gonna do a text align center, which will horizontally center the text within the H1 block. So horizontal centering has always been a piece of cake for text, just with text align center. And let's go ahead and save this and see how it's looking by default on the browser. All right, that's what we'd expect. Um, okay, I've got the borders, I can see those headline ones, and I can see that the text is horizontally centered. Clearly, when I wanna test vertical centering, these headlines are gonna to need to be taller so that we can emphasize if they're working or not. So let's look at H1 method one. This is my least favorite of the methods, but one you'll probably see from time to time. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a height of three Ms, makes, it, makes that headline taller, so we'll see the vertical centering taking place. In fact, before I do anything, just so you can see that work, there we go. And I'm gonna do a display of table cell. So basically we're gonna be treating this headline one like the cell within a table. And of course, now that we've done that, we can use vertical align, which is a great property, but it works for tables of middle. So save that, browser refresh, and I'm getting my vertical centering, but I'm also getting a few negative results. Uh, my headline is uh, shrunk down to the size of the text, and I've lost all of my margin control. Yeah, we could probably adjust the width to be 100% or give it a specific width and things like that, or maybe start to experiment, but now it's gonna require more work to get it back to what I wanted just for that vertical centering. So I'm gonna go ahead and forget that method of converting it to a table cell. It is neat that you can make elements behave like a table cell sometimes, and there would be a situation, there could be a situation anyway, where this would be useful, but in the scenario I've set up, these headlines are like main elements on the page, and so this is not acceptable. So let's look at um, H1 method two. So for method two, I'll set the height to 3M, so it's a nice tall box. And in this time, I'm gonna set the line height of the text to 3M. So now we have vertically centered text. I like this method a lot. In fact, I use this technique if I'm creating a, a navigation menu with buttons. If I wanna do some quick vertical centering, I'll simply set the line height, whatever it happens to be, to coincide with the height of the box. Now, if I was creating buttons, maybe those buttons, those anchors would be display block and they might be, let's say, 55 pixels tall, 55 PX. Well, if the height was 55 PX, I would set the line height to 55 PX and that would give me vertical centering. The only problem with um, this particular method is if you start to have two lines of text. So if I have two lines of text within that headline one, then that line height is really gonna start to screw me up. So that's gonna be a problem. So let's go on to method number three. H1 method three. Now in this one, it's gonna be pretty simple. I'm not gonna set the height, but I'm gonna set a padding of top and bottom, one M, left and right of zero. So I'm gonna use padding to create my vertical centering with equal padding on top and bottom of the text. Control S to save, browser refresh, and there we go. So in my third box here, I'm getting that nice vertical centering. And even better, if I head over and create another line of text, I'll just copy and paste a second line of text, 
into that headline, I'm still going to get vertical centering. So this is a pretty nice method to do vertical centering of text if there's a chance that you might have multiple lines of text within the block. So three methods, table cell, probably never going to use that one again. Um, matching line height with the height. I do like that one a lot, especially for navigational buttons when I know for a fact that there's only going to be one line of text. And then, of course, method three, using padding to create the space um, if there's a chance that I might have multiple lines of text that need to be vertically centered.